What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you ladies and gentlemen right here. Tropical Depression 13 was designated earlier this morning by the National Hurricane Center, and a lot of stuff is coming out, uh, coming out both good and bad. So here's what we have. Here's our Tropical Depression. We're going to go ahead and show you the public advisory, the forecast advisory, and this discussion to kind of give you guys a better understanding of what's going on. New tropical depression forms in the central tropical Atlantic forecast to become a powerful hurricane by the end of the week. That's from the NHC themselves. So here's our situation. Winds are 35 miles per hour. It is moving apparently west-northwest at 285 degrees at 15 miles per hour, and the pressure is 1,008 millibars. Now, with that, where, with that present movement right there, I agree that it's moving at about 15 miles per hour. However, I've been looking at the system. It's not moving west-northwest at all. It's actually moving due west from the satellite images we have right here. So here's what we have going on. We're going to go ahead and take this out right here. Here's the satellite imagery. This is where the center of circulation where my mouse is right here. So we're going to go ahead and play that. It's continuing, continuing, continuing. In fact, it actually, in fact, it actually almost makes a west-southwest jog towards there. So we'll go ahead and zoom in on this to kind of give you a better understanding. That's the center of circulation right here. It's not moving west. It's moving due west at this point. It's not moving west-northwest. I saw a few satellite frames of this thing kind of jogging towards the west-southwest, which is pretty interesting for sure. But we'll have to wait and see on that. It's not. It's moving due west, which we'll get to why I'm so concerned about that in just a second. But before we get into that, here's the big situation. Interest in the Leeward Islands should monitor the progress of the system. Here, That's the first advisory. We're going to go ahead and show you the forecast advisory. Here's what we have. Uh, it, it's expected according to the forecast advisory, and we'll go ahead and show you on the cone as well to kind of give you an understanding of this. It is forecast on the uh, on the cone to become a major hurricane, based on the uh, on the discussion in the forecast advisory. The NHC is calling for this to be a Category Four hurricane with winds of 140 miles per hour by day five. Here's the discussion right here to back it up. By 120 hours out, it's expected to become a 120 knot or 140 mile per hour hurricane, and it is expected, to, at least according to the NHC, to move north of the Lesser Antilles. However, based on that westward movement and the fact that it hasn't started that turn yet, I'm a bit concerned. I'm a bit concerned about it because. Where we're at right now is we're about, what, 43 degrees west. The system's moving due west, around 270, maybe 260 degrees if it's starting to do a little bit of a wobble to the west-southwest. My big concern is the further it moves west, it puts the Antilles, the Leeward Islands especially, more at more and more risk because when that turn does start, it's not going to be like a straight northward turn or anything like that. It's going to be moving west-northwestward, and the longer it takes for that turn to begin, the more at risk the Antilles are. In fact, there is actually a reason why this thing is moving west, and we're going to go ahead and pull it up. This is windy.com. What, no what I'm noticing right here around this area is anticyclonic uh, circulation. Also, uh, also a potential building high for those uh, who, in layman's terms, right there, anticyclonic ro ro rotation is basically clockwise rotation. Cyclonic is counterclockwise. I'm not going to get into that, but that is what I am noticing, and that is north of the Antilles. And for those of you who don't know, high pressure systems and anticyclonic flow are what really drive these systems to basically go the way they go. So that's our big situation, and it's moving west primarily due to this whole system right here. I know the forecast models and all that have this thing moving west-northwest. I'm sorry, based off of what I'm seeing, that's not happening right now. And we'll get to the potential impacts later down the road, but we're going to go ahead and kind of show you some model runs to kind of show you what's going on. The Zero Z, we're just going to show you the Zero Z of the European to kind of give you an understanding of what I'm um, thinking right here. Here's the Zero Z. This thing organizes and develops, strengthens into a hurricane, moves north of the Lesser Antilles, causes so some impact to happen over there, gets down to a 929 millibar system. Before undergoing an eyeball replacement cycle, starts strengthening again. That gets down to 925, high end category four, low end category five, right here. And this then this thing starts to move out to sea as time continues to go on. However, based off of this new uh, of uh, based off this new data I am getting, 
And based off of the fact that there's some anti-cyclonic flow over here, I'm not 100% sure this thing's going to be a fish storm anymore. Now, I'm not saying that this thing is going to hit land just yet. We're going to have to wait and see what it does in the next 24 hours. But the longer this thing moves due west instead of west-northwest like we wanted to, the greater risk at least the Antilles have of a potential imp uh, major impact from this. Track models are from the 12Z. They have this thing tracking west-northwestward as well. I'm sorry, that's not happening. And we actually have another tweet here to uh, kind of uh, show you what, what's going on with this. This is, what's, uh, this is what we have right here. This is moving west right here. This is moving basically sa well south of the guidance, according to what I'm finding here. This is the tweet I'm pulling up. And this, and right now, that according to the track models, it's expected to be moving west-northwestward. It's not. It's still moving due west. And is and this is the position of it right here. It was moving west-northwestward. Then it's halted here. And for the last uh, f a few uh, hours or so, at least according to right here, it's been moving due west. This was posted... Uh, this was posted about la last night, and guess what? It's still moving there. So that's our big situation we have going on. So here's our big situ. Uh, here's our big question we have. First of all, we know this thing has a huge ceiling, and we know that this thing is going to be a very intense hurricane, at least a Category 4, according to the National Hurricane Center. In fact, on their discussion, here's they actually point out something real quickly. The environment around the depression appears to be conducive for strengthening. The only obvious hindering factor is the light to moderate northeasterly shear, which should keep the intensification rate in check in the short term. However, in two to three days, this shear is forecast to relax with an upper-level ridge building near the cyclone, and the system should be moving over record warm waters of near 30 degrees Celsius east of the Lesser Antilles. These factors should, could support rapid intensification, although it's too early to determine what exactly might end up. The NHC intensity forecast is extremely bullish for a for first forecast, but remarkably lies below the intensity consensus. All indications are that the depression will become a strong hurricane by the end of the forecast period. The NHC is actually being conservative with this. That speaks volumes with what's going on. And based on the fact that the system is organizing and based on the fact that this, this, that this system has starting to show a lot of deep convection and a lot of consistent deep convection, this thing is already starting to strengthen right here. We'll have to wait and see what it does in the next two to three days. Hurricane hunters are expected to go out starting tomorrow, so we'll get a better idea of what's really going on. So that's our situation, and it was mentioning the global sea temperatures, 30 plus degrees Celsius all over the place, 28 plus degrees Celsius all over the place. This thing, where it is right, where it is right now, it's about roughly here, it's in 29 plus degrees Celsius, of waters where where the ocean heat content is it's in an area of around 75 to 100 ohc so it's starting to enter those better conditions for rapid intensification by the minute so that's why i'm so concerned about this and that's why i urge everyone that's listening to this to continue to monitor the situation as we're seeing deviations from the track right here we're seeing deviations of this of this system and some of the hurricane models are starting to pick up on this now we'll go ahead and show you uh, the wind shear before we get to the hurricane models. Where This is where the system is right now. Pretty much from here until the Bahamas, no, it, really not much wind shear is going on. There might be a little bit here and there, but this is the perfect conditions, the best conditions I have ever seen this season. So this will take most likely take full advantage of this here on out. And that's the big, that's the big concern I have going into this. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the hurricane models. The 12Z models are all the way out, except probably the h wharf. And here's what we have, and we're going to kind of show you those de uh, deviations and those corrections in the in the track. So here's the h mon. This system is organizing, developing, starting to strengthen up into a hurricane in the next 48 hours. And then things really start to take off. Gets down to the 960s, 950s, 940s, like that. And by 96 hours out, we're down to a 929 millibar system which is pretty crazy. The max winds are at 137 point, sorry, 135.7 knots, which is 156 miles per hour. That's a high-end Category 4. 
Then it starts to continue strengthening down to a 925 millibar system. It undergoes an eyewall replacement cycle, and by 126 hours out, still at 925, we're seeing the max win still at high-end category 4, according to the HMON. And to kind of give you a better understanding of the track as well, this is where we were at at the 6Z right here. Where the track was, was we were at 60, we were at like 60.1 degrees north, 23.6 degrees uh, west, uh, sorry, 22.6 degrees north, uh, 60 uh, degrees nor uh, west, uh, my apologies. This is where we're at right now, boom. We're at about 20, we're about uh, 22.3 degrees uh, north and 61.2 degrees west. So the, the HMON track has shifted this a further, a degree, a whole degree further to the west, which is about 70 to 80 miles. And about uh, at about 20 miles to the south. So that already concerns me based on that track, primarily because of the potential impacts that people could get. So that's the HMON. We'll show you the HAFSA as well to kind of give you a, a, a cross-check understanding of this. HAFSA, organizing, developing, starts to rapidly intensify as time continues to go on. Gets down to a 980, 990, 8, yeah, 989 millibar system in the next 48 hours. Then watch what happens over the next uh, 72, uh, sorry, 24 hours. 957 millibar system. Here's where we were at 48 hours, 980, uh, 989. Boom, 957, already a uh, Category 3 hurricane at this point. Then this thing continues to strengthen, goes down to about 930 millibars, high-end Category 4. Then it gets down to the 920s, and the max winds at main sea level pressure is 140 knots. That's 160 miles per hour. That's a Category 5 uh, hurricane that the HFSA is calling for. And this is where we're at right there, undergoes a little bit of a fluctuation. And this is where we're at with the track. We're at 21.3 uh, degrees north and 63 degrees west. So we're going to go ahead and show you the 6Z to kind of give you a better track. It's uh, the... It, the track has shifted quite a bit more to the south. We're about 22.8 degrees north from this, about 63.2 degrees west from the 6Z. Here's where we're at, the 12Z, boom. We're at 20, yeah, hold up, hold, uh, hold on, let me see this real quickly. Yeah, it's about the same, it's about the same la uh, latitude. No, it's actually went down about 30 miles to, uh, to the south, and it's actually moved a little bit more, a little, moved a little bit more to the east. So, again, there is some fluctuations here and there, but the models are starting to show some corrections. So here's what we have for the HAFSB, and a lot of these values are quite interesting, I will tell you that. HAFSB organizes, develops, starts rapidly intensifying after the next 48 hours. We get down to a 940s millibar system, gets down to the 930s, then it gets down to the 920s over here, and then get, look at this. We're at 910s, we're at 918 millibars, max winds of 146 knots, 165 miles per hour about, then 913 up to 175 mile per hour system, according to the HAFSB. I don't know if this is going to get that strong, but the N if the NHC is saying that their forecast track is conservative, I'm a bit concerned about that. And then this thing card kind of fluctuates. 908 millibars right here. 908. That is the strongest system out in the Atlantic since Maria in 2017, based on pressure. And we're going to go ahead and also show you the track difference. Here's where we were at 6C, 63 degrees west, about 21 and a half degrees north. Here's where we're at right now, boom. 20, we're at 20.8 degrees nor, uh, north and 63 degrees west. So the HAFSB has shifted about 0.7 degrees, about 50 to 60 miles more to the south from their last track. So the models are really starting to show those corrections right there, folks. And that's why I'm so concerned about this. So we'll have to keep you updated here in the Pat's Path Predictor channel. Please remain calm. Monitor the situation. We'll keep you updated. Have a wonderful day, guys. We're closing the video out right here. Stay safe.